Hello, today I'm going to be filming 21 things I've learnt in 20 years. I thought, like, I've never really filmed anything like this on my channel before and it might help you get to know me a bit better. So I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to. I will be reading, like, off this, but I'm also going to, like, try and put in some, like, clips and, like, photos and stuff to kind of document this milestone in my life. Um, it's really weird that I'm actually 21 now, like, I'm actually in my 20s. Um, but you know what, so far it's not going too bad, so... Yeah, as I said, please like and subscribe if you like this video, and let's get started. My favourite quote is, an arrow cannot be shot without being pull pulled backwards, so keep focus and keep aiming. I've always, like, had in the back of my head, and that was one of the first sort of quotes I, like, discovered on the internet, and it just kind of means, like, you can't really go forward in life without having a, f a few kind of setbacks in your life. So I feel like whenever I'm going through like a rough patch or whatever, I always kind of come back to that quote and just be like, right, this is leading me to something better. For example, like obviously this time last year, I actually dropped out of university or like took a break from university, um, which was definitely for the best. Like I needed to do it, but at the time it just felt awful. Like I felt like such a failure. I had all these horrible thoughts, but you know, through like therapy and spending time with my family, I got through it and I'm back at university stronger and stuff so yeah these things happen for a reason. The next one is some friends are for a reason, some are for a season and some are for life. I think it's something you kind of learn through especially through your teenage years like your friendship groups change like so much like oh my god like <laughs> I can't even like think about it now but to be honest I feel like the friends I've got in my life now I, ho I hope I like for the rest of my life like uh, even though some of them are like newer than others like the sort of group I've got now I'm, I'm quite kind of solid with. Obviously I've got my uni friends. My at home friends. And yeah, I just feel like it's all working quite well. Never chase after a man or a bus because there will always be another one coming around the corner. This one comes from my nan. She always tells me this, like, not that I'm a sort of girl that's like always got like chasing after boys, like, that's just not me. <laughs> like, literally, I'm the most like single person you'll ever meet. But, um, yeah, like, she always, she's always just told me ever since I was young, never chase after a man or a bus because there will always be another one coming around, and that's very true. Like, even when my friends are like being treated like crap or whatever, like, I'm just like, guys, just like, stop, it's not worth it. Never chase after a man or a bus. Yeah. <laughs> this one is, you have the power to leave or change something, so don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. One of my managers actually told me this, like, last year when I was working, um, whether you're at work or at school, like, if something's really bothering you, or, like, you just, it's just getting too much, just honestly just leave, like, it, you may feel like you're doing the wrong thing, you're being, like, weak, but you're really not, you're actually being really strong for, like, being like, you know what, I don't have to do this, I can leave. So yeah, always keep that in mind when you're in, like, a bad situation. Everyone is fighting a battle you know nothing about, be kind, it sort of, sort of goes without saying, like, everyone's been through different things, and you've just got to be respectful of that, and yeah, just sort of take everything with a pinch of salt really like I feel like if someone's treating you badly as well it's not a reflection of you either that's a, probably a reflection of them like they may not be doing it intentionally they just might not realize that it's bad and they just haven't been taught very well not to treat people like that <laughs> everyone else is on a different path and don't compare yourself to them um again I've, all, I've obviously experienced this last year when I kind of came out of university for a bit obviously pretty much all my friends were at university at the time and apart from like one or two um who were all who were both working full time so I was just kind of at home, like, working a part-time job, like, not really know what I was doing, and I just kept following all these people on social media who were obviously at university or, like, graduate, and I was like, oh my god, why am I not, why is that not me? But then I just realised, like, I'm literally, I was only, like, 20 at the time, and, like, I've still got so much of my life left to go, and it doesn't matter that I took, like, six months out of uni, like, it's such a small amount of time in the grand scheme of my whole kind of life course. So, yeah, like, if you're sort of in that position of, like, being on a gap year or being in between jobs or whatever, just remember... It's only a small section of time and everything happens for a reason. Number seven, exercise is good for your mental health, even if you hated it in PE. Um, <laughs> I was always a girl that was literally picked last in team sports. Like, I just, I'm just not competitive at all. Like, I hated, like, anything, football or, like, basketball, like, any kind of team sport. I just literally hated because I was just, like, I was not competitive. 
and I think because of that, like throughout school, I just never tried any other sports because in PE it was all such such team based things, which just just brought the really bad sides out in people. So I just kind of never really t looked after my actual physical health in school. Um, but then sort of as I got into college and like sort of, I always call it college, but it's like sixth form. Um, I I discovered um, blogilates on YouTube. So I used to do a few of hers sort of every day. Um, and then it's only really since coming out of university, and when, unfortunately when I was suffering with depression and anxiety, um, my doctor actually recommended me going, like, signing up to the gym, and ever since then I haven't looked back, like, it really has helped my mental health, like, I don't really do classes, as I said, I don't really like the sort of competitive aspect of sort of someone looking over your shoulder what you're doing, I just like going to the gym, making my own routine, I follow other people's on, like, Instagram and stuff, and, yeah, like, obviously it keeps my body healthy and it keeps my mind kind of occupied, like, it's, it gives me something to sort of focus on and work towards, which is, my sort of personality is like I always like having something to work towards and do like I can't sit around and just do nothing like even now I've been at uni like half the day and I came home and I was like oh I have like a little relax but I've been sat sat on my bed for like an hour I was like I need to just do something like I just can't sit around <laughs> number eight trust your gut always um again going back to the anxiety thing unfortunately when I'm very very anxious I get quite unwell um and by that I basically I'm quite sick which is gross, but this is what happens to me. So I feel like now I know when I start experiencing those symptoms, I need to kind of figure out what is making me unwell. And I just sort of realised to stop doing that. <laughs> so I sort of learned that the hard way, sort of last year at uni, where I was studying something I literally hated. And as a result, I lost lots of weight through stress, which was not good for me at all. But I'm back to good health now. So yeah, like, but like I knew at the beginning of last year, like that course wasn't for me. But I just didn't change it, I think, because back then I was kind of scared to change my sort of course of my degree. But you know what, as my tutor said back, sort of like this time last year, she was like, it's never too late to change anything. Like, don't worry about the money aspect or anything, like, it will all work out. And luckily it did. Number nine, ask if help is okay and going back to therapy is okay. <laughs> Again, I think because of my personality, where I just like to keep going, going, and like, sort of, I kind of look like everything's okay because I'm quite, like, I just kind of keep my head down and get on with things I don't really kind of look after myself and this year especially um I just went back to my original therapist who I saw in my teenage years and like I didn't have the sort of pressure of school like when I needed to work through my own sort of brain and stuff so I think probably it's where I benefited the most from therapy was when I wasn't didn't, wasn't under the pressure of school because I just had like a part-time job I could really focus on myself and it was so beneficial to me like oh my goodness um but yeah like I know I should have asked for it earlier on in like university last year which I did I did ask to go through therapy through uni but I had to wait like eight weeks which was obviously a very long time when you're very distressed and stuff but like as I said everything feels like under control now so yeah <laughs> number 10 gratitude will improve you in ways you couldn't imagine so one of the things my therapist suggested was writing down three things I was grateful for every day and as I said, like it really has helped me. And one of the app, the app I am an ambassador for, which is Fika, really promotes this as well. So um, yeah, and also just like the process of writing really helps me like process things. So yeah, as I said, if you just write down three things, do it for the next week. Write down three things every night or every morning that you're really grateful for. It could just be your family, your dog, like just having a roof over your head, like anything and it will make you more kind of grateful and aware of what you have. Balance is key, don't work yourself to death. <laughs> Again, another personality flaw of mine is I just I just overwork myself and I feel like this year I've kind of learnt when to stop. Kiri, you need to just stop doing these long hours, like just go back to normal hours and just sort of get yourself back together again, which is what I did. So now, even at university, now obviously I do have long days, but like, I always keep like a five day week and then I have my two my two days off so I mean it does really depend on what I'm doing like sometimes that might mean like because I'm only actually timetabled in university three days a week but like if I have a long weekend or something I can kind of make up for it in like another day but as I said if I work sort of five days two days off that works well for me and I'm more productive that way it's okay to do things on your own um so as I said I like being productive and stuff but equally like I like doing things on my own I've always been quite independent I feel like um yeah I'm quite introverted as well so like I've learned now to sort of say when like I need my own space <laughs> which is absolutely okay and if people don't respect that then you should probably question if you should be friends with them if they're not respecting your wishes so yeah and 
learning about people's journeys will help you in ways you can't imagine um so yeah as i said in my sort of break from university i just literally asked like all the people me and mum went out for lunch with or like met up with i literally asked and i was like how would you get to your career or like how did you get to be where you are today and it was just so interesting like like my neighbor down the road he dropped out of university and found his job and like it's just so interesting like you kind of think you you're just set up to go to university and find your job straight away but it doesn't work like that and like so many things happen to different people which means they can't get university done in their early 20s or whatever or they do it later on in life and like i just find it really interesting learning about other people um which is why i quite like my degree i do education studies if you didn't already know um so everyone kind of assumes it's just like learning about how to teach your kids but it's not it's basically a bit of like geography sociology and like a tiny bit of psychology and it's just really interesting like you just sort of figure out like um kind of how people learn best and sort of why things in the education system are failing like this has really gone on like a tangent now but <laughs> like yeah as i said just literally the next time you meet someone you just be like oh how did you get your job or like how did you get to be like living here like it's just really interesting learning about other people concerts give you the best feeling ever like oh my god <laughs> teenage years I spent going to concerts and it was just like so much fun and like I just can't describe the buzz of a concert to you like I love a night out but I feel like concerts just top nights out like so much I think because you're there to see one specific person and everyone else is there for the same reason and oh my god I'm seeing Halsey next year which I'm so excited for travel opens your eyes to so many things you will get over your anxiety so in the past year especially I haven't really been like sort of abroad traveling but just even in the UK just going to different like towns and stuff like kind of opens your eyes to how other people live and sort of what is important to them i actually went back to ireland this time of like sort of june last year which was so much fun and i saw family there but again even though ireland is not far away at all like the way they live is just so different to england so yeah as i said it opens your eyes like but as i said growing up i did have really bad anxiety about traveling it wasn't really the actual plane journey but it was more staying away from home was my sort of issue like because i was quite sort of routine and like like i just wasn't really used to traveling like whenever i was in a new sort of situation of like eating new foods and stuff i'd get really really anxious and really unwell but you know what i'm i've come through the worst of that 100 percent again through therapy <laughs> um because like i did do a zanti vlog i don't know if anyone remembers that listed anymore because i'm just a mess in that vlog but um yeah my anxiety is at its highest then when i was around sort of 17 18 but um yeah i'm still glad i went on that holiday but i didn't enjoy it as much as i probably could have because i just wasn't mentally prepared for it and number 17 you are loved never forget that um <laughs> i think i kind of forget like my mom says this to me all the time but sometimes i just feel like you know what you know you're just on your own you're like hmm do people care but like people do care so just like never forget that you're loved number 18 limiting social media is good for you or being more efficient on it i think um what i've done in the past year is i kind of do like so i, I usually wake up quite early now i wake up about six seven o'clock nowadays just like naturally um so what i do is i usually like an hour on social media and just like literally catch up on everything like all my social media posts that i follow and then i usually put something on my instagram story then um, and then obviously i go to university for the day or the morning or whatever then come back sort of do another hour at lunch and then Again, afternoon, I'd do something, go to the gym, do work, whatever. And then I'd sort of do another hour in the evening before dinner. And then sort of maybe like another hour kind of after dinner before bed. Which, so that's only like four hours a day on social media, which sounds like a lot. But compared to what I used to be, where I was just like scrolling, scrolling, not really doing anything on it. Um, but I feel like now, because I've kind of a lot, like allowed that time for social media time, I'm more efficient on it and I'm like more interactive on it. So... Yeah, just kind of, I'd say if you're, if you know, if you're like aware of the fact you're just constantly scrolling, like not really doing anything on it, try and like make a little schedule for yourself and you'll be more kind of into it. 19. <laughs> Stop worrying about what others think about you. Chances are they're too busy leading their own lives, 
to think about what you're doing. Again, this comes from my nan. Um, like, as I said, when I was out of university, I just wasn't really sure what I was doing in my life. And I, I just kept worrying. I was like, mum, what's my job going to be? What's my and she's like, Kira, you're 20. Um, like, calm down. Like, you have to have your whole life figured out. And, like, even when I wasn't sure if I was going back to uni, they were like, my mum my and my nan were so supportive. They were like, they were like, if you don't go out to university, it's really not the end of the world. Like, there's jobs out there, there's apprenticeships. Like, you will find something. You'll find your thing. And, like, don't feel ashamed if you do don't if you do decide not to go back to university. Like, as I said, everyone is so busy leading their own lives. Like, they probably don't even... Like, obviously they care, but, like, they don't... They probably don't have so much time to be like, oh, my God, why are they doing that? Like, as in the it's your life. Make it the best you can. Number 20. Healing is an ongoing process. You'll get through this. Um, yeah, I went through quite a few bad times in my early teenage years but as I said it, it is something that has healed with time my mum always says time is a great healer which I really agree with um so yeah if you're going through something right now just remember it does get better it will get better in time just be patient with yourself and things work out for a reason but also please go and seek help if you are struggling <laughs> 21 um so 20 has been quite good let's hope the rest of the decade is amazing so yeah, we're in 2020 now. I'm now 21. I probably will upload this on my birthday. Um, but yeah, like as I said, even though 20 started off very odd when I wasn't when I dropped out of university, um, it like it has worked out for the best. Um, I've done so many things in that year that I wouldn't have done if I wasn't at if I was at university. Um, and I've learned a lot about myself in that time as well. I feel like I'll probably will change by the time I'm 30. But like I just want to make this video for something to look back on and. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it too. I hope you learned something about me. Um, yeah, as I said, like and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you soon. Bye.